In this tutorial, we will talk about prime number factorization or factorization into prime factors or um, representation of any composite number as a multiplication of prime numbers. Uh, we have a result in um, mathematics that every composite number can be represented uniquely as a product of prime factors. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to write any composite number uh, as a multiplication of prime numbers, as in this example you see now. Uh, let's get started. Uh, we will uh, describe an algorithm uh, using several examples. The first example which describes our algorithm Example, example one, uh, let's write um, factorization into prime numbers uh, for number n 1984. Uh, to do this, we um, write 1984. Um, we divide this number by 2 because uh, if you watched um, previous tutorials, you know that divisibility criteria for number 2 is that last number must be even or equal to 0. Since 4 is even number, uh, actually this is obvious, but anyway, um, this is divisible by 2 and result will be 900. 92. This is also divisible by 2 and it will be 496. This is also divisible by 2 and we have 284. Divide by number 2 and we have 124. Divisible by 2 and we have 62. This is also divisible by 2 and we have 39, uh, 31, sorry. 31 is prime number, and this is uh, not divisible by 2, of course. This is only divisible by 31, and we have a finishing point of our algorithm 1. That's why um, we write that as a result of this algorithm, our number 1000 984 is divisible, uh, sorry, is can be represented as a multiplication of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 31. All these numbers are prime numbers, so we represented our number as a multiplication of prime numbers. And shortly, this can be written as 2 to the power of 6 times 31. And this is the result. This is the representation of our number as a multiplication of prime numbers. A next example, example number 2. Example number 2. Uh, this is uh, about writing number 1050 as a multiplication of prime numbers. Uh, let's do it. Let's write 1050. And this number obviously is divisible uh, by number 2 because the last uh, digit is 0. And if you don't know divisibility criteria uh, by numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9, uh, watch previous tutorials. Uh, if we divide 1050 by the number 2, we will have 525. This number is not divisible by 2 because last number is not even or zero. Is this number divisible by number three? 
the next prime number. Um, using the visibility criteria for number three, we have to check is the sum of the digits 5 plus 2 plus 5, is this number divisible by number 3? This is 12 and this is divisible by 3, that's why answer is yes. So 525 is divisible by 3. And the result will be 175. Is this number divisible by number 3? 1 plus 7 plus 5 is uh, 13. 13 is not divisible by 3. That's why answer is no. So 175 is not divisible by 3. Next uh, prime number is number 5. Uh, very important note is that I forget, forgot to mention is that for number 1050 we know all the prime numbers, all the prime numbers prior to this number, th that this any of this number can potentially divide our number. And we can write every prime number less than 1050 using uh, Eratosthenes algorithm described in um, previous tutorial. So this number 2, 3, 5 and so on, we already know these numbers using uh, algorithm uh, of Eratosthenes, sieve of Eratosthenes. So uh, 175 is not divisible by 3. Next prime number is 5. Is this number divisible by 5? Yes, of course, because last digit is 5. And if we divide our number by 5, result will be 35. 35 is also divisible by 5. Uh, we divide this number by 5 and we have 7. 7 is prime number and this is divisible only by the next number 7. And we have finishing point of our algorithm. That's why our number 1050 can be represented as a multiplication of prime numbers 2 times 3, times 5, times 5, times 7. Or in shorter form, this is 2 times 3, times 5 squared, uh, times 7. And so we found a representation of our number as a multiplication of prime numbers. Or oh, this is the prime number factorization of number 1050. Next example, example number three. Example number three. Let's write um, more complex numbers, say 14,700. 14,700. Um, Let's begin, write 14,700. This number is divisible by 2 because last digit is 0. Uh, then it will be 7,350. This number is also divisible by 2 because last number is 0. Uh, then it will be 3,000. 675. Is this number divisible by 2? No, because last digit is not even number and or 0. Uh, is this number divisible by 3? Let's check it. 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 21. So that's why, yes. So our number, 3 1675 is divisible by number 3. And if we divide, for example, using calculator, we um, have 1225. Is this number divisible by number 3? Let's check it. 1 plus 
plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 10. And 10 is not divisible by 3. That's why our number is not divisible by 3. Next prime number is number 5. Is this number divisible by 5? Yes, this number is divisible by 5. And if we divide, we have 245. Is this number divisible by 5? Yes, and result will be 49. 49 is divisible by next prime number 7. And the result will be 7. 7 by 7 is 1, which is finishing point of our algorithm. And as a result, we have that our number 14 thousand 14,700 can be represented as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7 times 7 or in shorter form this is 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared times 7 squared and this is a factorization of our number prime number factorization of our number so now we can implement uh, our algorithm and to write representation of any composite number as a multiplication of prime numbers it was everything i wanted to talk about for this tutorial thank you very much for your time like us and subscribe to see new videos on Open Math Camp.